year was a great excuse to go through some of the more recent G1 Legends toys of the time. So this time, I kind of wanted to do something similar. But since I didn't want to repeat myself, this time Toy Sember will be looking at the Legends class, or rather that size class, throughout the years. Starting with one of my favorites, and for my money, one of the best even to this day. From Cybertron, it's Starscream. Cybertron was actually the first toy line to base the character on his original Tetrajet design from the first episode of the cartoon. Granted, it's far more detailed than it was then, this is the War Within design after all, but that's for the best. His proportions are also very accurate to the larger version, making him a very convincing miniature. Paint-wise, he's simplified from the larger versions of the toy, but the important parts are there, and the metallic colors really pop on him. The best part? You can flip out his weapons, making him one of the few Legends toys to retain the gimmick of its larger counterpart. They're based on the Supreme Starscream mold, so one blade, one cannon, and the inclusion wasn't necessary, which makes it all the more welcome. Transforming him is actually almost identical to the larger toys, accomplished with ball joints instead of ratchets. Except for how you lower the tail pin, it's basically spot on. In robot mode, the changes in deco get more obvious, like the pylons around his head and the inaccurate Decepticon logo, but it's no surprise for the size class. More importantly, it still captures what I love about the design, looking both sleek and powerful. Articulation-wise, the only thing he's missing from the larger toys are his elbows. The shoulders, knees, and hips are all ball-jointed, and the neck still rotates. And since he's not using ratchet joints, he actually has a better range of motion. This makes the inclusion of his gimmick weapon all the better, as he looks great using them. This was a great mold, still one of the best in its size today, which is amazing being one of the first. Hasbro knew it, too. I mean, they took every chance they got to repaint this thing, including making it the only version of this design to appear in Skywarp's colors, which are absolutely gorgeous on this toy. Why, oh why, didn't we get the Voyager in those colors? I'm still holding a grudge, okay? Okay. Okay, it's enough of that. That's, that's, that's all for another day. No, no, this is Toysember, we're in Legends Class Transformers, and we've still got a lot to go through. This requires a jump in time, though, to see how far into the future we go. Wait till we open tomorrow's present.